Hey guys, in this video we will talk about Tarkov settings, show my Discord settings helper bot and show you and suggest you videos that will help you fully understand every setting in Escape from Tarkov in detail. I've linked every video and website mentioned in this video in the pinned comment below. First, I'll briefly show you the Tarkov settings help a Discord bot. You can simply invite the bot here. You can either add the bot to your own server or join a server where the bot is already added. After you click the invite button, you will be greeted by this screen. In this selection, you can add the bot to whatever server you have permissions in. Once the bot is added to a server, you can simply use the slash commands. Once you type slash, you will see the free commands that are available from the bot. Now you're most likely interested in the settings guide. So you click on settings guide and you hit enter. Now another way of opening that command is you can simply click on the bot's profile and you click on settings guide and then you hit enter on the command and the selection will start. Once you've started the command, you, the first thing you want to select is your CPU. Now, when you open this, you will notice a lot of CPUs are listed together. We simply done this because most of these CPUs perform within the same range and the suggested settings would not be different if, I, if we would list all the CPUs in a separate tab. Now, in this example, we will use the 7000 X3D because a lot of you have a 7800 X3D, so you can just simply click on that. And in the next step, you can select the RAM size. Now there's only really two relevant sizes here, which is 16 and 32. Now, ideally in Tarkov, you ha would have 32 or more, but a lot of you may still have 16 gigabytes. And when you select 16 gigabytes, the setting selection will be way different than 32 as you will have to compensate for the lack of RAM. Now, most of you will have 32 or more. Now, in my opinion, 32 is the recommended size and anything above is just a nice to have. So even if you only have 32, the settings recommendations will still be good for 32. Now, once you select your RAM size, the next tab will be your GPU selection. Now, this selection uses the same logic as the CPU selection. We're listing a lot of these GPUs together as they perform within the same range or have the same VRAM amount. Once you pick your GPU selection here, we can use an example of, let's say you have a 4080, you click on it, and here are the suggested settings by the bot you can use in game. Another quick note on this, whenever you use a command of this bot, it's only visible to yourself, so you cannot spam any servers with this. If you reboot Discord, these suggested settings will be deleted automatically. And if you want to do it manually, you can simply click on dismiss matches under every command. Now that you have seen how to use the bot, let's talk about Tarkov settings and give you context on some of the settings the Discord bot always suggests. I'm not going in extreme detail about every setting in this video, so we'll quickly go over them. If you are interested in videos that show you GPU and CPU bound performance in Escape from Tarkov, you can check out these two videos right here. All right, let's get into some of the important settings that you may want context for regarding the suggested settings by the Discord bot. The main menu background in Tarkov seems like an innocent setting, but this one can really cause issues. Now in the past and this wipe, the unheard background can increase VRAM usage and can still cause the occasional stutter. Now I do not have the other backgrounds regarding the prestigious, but keep in mind that you may just wanna use something uh, neutral. Also do not set this on random as it can still cycle through the unheard if you have that background. 75 FOV is always recommended by the Discord bot as this performs better 90% of the time. This is because lower FOV acts like higher LOD in this game. This setting is personal preference of course, but know that higher will generally give you more frames. The automatic RAM cleaner is a setting you ideally not use. This is a setting you only want to use when you have 16 gigabytes of RAM where you really need this setting. If you have 32 or more, you should not need this uh, setting to be on as it can cause some stuttering for some users. Only use physical cores is always suggested to be off by the Discord bot because in my testing this setting is too inconsistent. Here you can see some of the testing I've done. Uh, this is based on just one sample size CPU, the 9800X3D in this example, so your mileage may vary depending on what CPU you have. In this comparison, if you quickly want to look at it, left side is offline, right side is online. 
I'll just use the online as an example here. On the third row here, no tweaks online. This is like nothing has changed. You just boot up the game and you play. Now, when you use only use physical cores, you can see the 0.1% lows are really taking a hit. And this is also consistent in offline, as you can see on the left here. So for that reason alone, I do not recommend it. Now, you can also see two tests in here, which uh, are noted as PL. This stands for process lasso. I've done a video about this in the past and you can check that out here this is the video i've done in the past this was about 10 months ago but it's still relevant today for 1.0 uh, feel free to check it out as for screen mode the bot always recommends borderless since borderless has been performing better than full screen basically since patch 0.16 when the engine was updated in no scenario should you use full screen as it always lowers performance Texture quality is purely a VRAM dependent setting. Depending on the quality chosen here, Tarkov will always try to allocate as much VRAM it can. Please do not confuse allocation with actual VRAM usage, as the VRAM usage will be lower than the allocation. With that said, keep in mind that even when all your VRAM is allocated, you can still expect to see some spillover into system memory. So when you're using a too high texture quality with a GPU that lacks VRAM, you will see higher RAM usage. The Discord bot sets the texture quality according to how much VRAM you have. Object LED quality, lower performance better. The Discord bot recommendations for LED are lower for 1.0 versus previous patches, as LED seems to have a bigger impact in 1.0. LED has a bigger impact when CPU bound. Since most people are CPU bound, the bot recommends this on the lower side of things. Anti-aliasing and DLSS and FSR. These settings go kind of hand in hand in Tarkov as DLSS and FSR can be used as an anti-aliasing method. Currently the Discord bot will not suggest any of these upscalers as this is very much personal preference and generally upscalers are not needed for performance in Tarkov. Upscalers like DLSS and FSR will only help in performance when you're GPU bound. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is always suggested to be turned off by the Discord bot, as Reflex has been too inconsistent over the years. There's a Reflex bug that always comes and goes depending on the drivers and game updates, where it would randomly cut your frames in half. You can still use Reflex if you like, but if you ever notice that your frames are way lower than before, consider toggling this off. Voyeurmatic lighting is always suggested to be either off or low by the bot. Low you can basically view as on. You can increase this to medium, high or ultra, but visually there isn't a big difference in my opinion. MIP streaming should always be off. This setting has been buggy since they added it. MIP streaming can cause random crashes and extremely slow loading out of raid times where you just get stuck on a black screen. High quality color is always recommended off by the Discord bot as this setting simply is not worth the performance loss for the little quality you gain. I suggest using your Nvidia control panel or AMD's Adrenaline app to adjust the color settings. As for Z-Blur, Chrome aberrations and noise, in my opinion these settings do not really add anything to the visuals so play with those as you like as they don't really affect your performance. That was the rundown of relevant settings. The suggested settings by the Discord bot are really there for you to have a starting point and of course you can change them as you like. Why did I make this Discord bot? I made this bot because there are too many settings guides out there that are not actual guides. Often these guide videos will suggest that you copy their settings but this can be very misleading as every combo of hardware needs a different recommendation of settings. Thank you for watching and hopefully the Discord bot can be useful to you.